When was the last time you ate and lifted like a prisoner? Like a man who's got seven years and he's got nothing else to do but eat yeah. and lift. Rice, couple beans, chicken breast. What's up today? We are trying out a new gym, which I'm excited about, America's Gym. And I'm here with Habedin Olenera. Hey, what's up, everybody? Former professional natural bodybuilder, amazing physique. But we're meeting up with another individual that actually was one of my initial inspirations, Ryan Doris. I've seen on Ryan's stories lately that he's just been going with the flow with his training session. So, Javi, I'll even ask you, like, what's your take on minimum effective training value? Well, for me, I, I think your one depends on where you are with your training. Or if you are... I think Ryan's coming off of exploring other things, especially Pilates. And so for him, going with the flow is probably going to be more effective. Me, right now, I can do whatever. I'm yeah. just here to train and have a good time. I'm I, here to do that too. Yeah, you know. So We're excited. It's going to yeah. be a good workout. We'll take him off. Yeah. Mobility teaches us, right? What it's politically known as. But I feel like I just didn't get it. It didn't matter, you know, for me it just didn't matter. So okay. and that's where Pilates made me go. Pilates just said, we don't care what you got going on. Just lay down and start the method. And you say if you can't do that move, okay. this is missing. Well you wouldn't look under the hood until it breaks, right? Yeah. And that was me. I was broken for after powerlifting and getting those big six. 40 squats. God, so, I forgot you're at the top of the powerlifting world too. I totally forgot about that. Well, right. right. I think, Ooh, I think, on, I think really? I'm going to have my best bodybuilding I mean, I just love the sheer confidence that you're coming through with right now. I don't care about money. I don't, I'm just like, I just want bodybuilding. That's a beautiful thing. And I may as well eat and lift. Okay, let's start now. Ooh, where are we going to start? Let's go to Chess Alley. <laughs> All right. Chess Alley. <laughs> Sack. That oh looks palms directly up. That's how you get that chest all the way up on your neck. By the time you had met me and by the time I was already at NIU, yeah. I was doing contests for sponsors from what they wanted. I was like a rapper on a bad deal, if you know what I mean. Like I had to put out so much work. What surprises me is how much more there still is at the 20 year mark. That's what blew me away, right? Like these kids. I don't know, they're on their second year. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, WrestleMania. Yeah. Simeon, right? Simeon Pan. Because you're round. And you do it, because you're young and you're excited. Because you're young. I won open competitions at 19, and then they put me in the world. I got spanked because this dude from India and then this dude from oh, Mexico, you know, it's <laughs> fucked up. You know. Yeah. I think track is the only place where they're working the individual to like that limit. Track, wrestling. There's very few sports where the in one athlete can't hide. And it's like, get on the line and I'm gonna work you see fast up. And it's the type of conditioning I think only those athletes. And that's why it takes so well to adhere. All right, what do you got? This may be working stuff for me. All right. I'm gonna scratch that squeeze. Ooh. Oh, yeah, bring it together. <laughs> My man. Don't think, just do. Wait, where? What? <laughs> oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Everyone, what? Bring it. Bring it. Uh, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Hey, they got, they got, this month they have free Fridays. I forgot to mention it to you. Free Fridays? A friend can come for free oh, on nice. Fridays. Anybody, no day pass. We still got legs. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's easy like this. It's, it's, it's no squat and nothing like that. That's my Tuesday. Dude, maybe I, just all you guys, like the pure mass, like the muscle maturity, I'm so envious of. Sometimes, you know, your mind wants to tell you it's the body type, but I know I haven't spent near amount of, the amount of time I could have putting on quality mass. When was the last time you ate and lifted like a prisoner? Like, like a man who's got seven years and he's got nothing else to do but eat yeah. 
and lifts. Like, when was the last time you just... Couple rice, couple beans, just chicken breast. Can I tell you though, shred sells, right? And that's our industry. If you're lean, Absolutely. you sell. Absolutely. But uh, I, I don't know, I just feel like... Being strong is always gonna be popular, no matter if you're shredded or not. Mm. Absolutely. You know, your will come that was even true that. when I was in the powerlifting world. Even physiques like that were better. It still did better. Mm. Always. Always did better. All right, so walk me through this real quick. Is yeah, that so slight turn? turn? Not as much. Not some, much. Some were a little less than 45 degrees. All right. Oh, there's a oh. You got a side to side. Think of it like a dumbbell where you're allowed to lean in a little bit. So you know how you kind of do a Turkish get up? Yeah. You kind of give a little bit. Yep. So make sure you get all the way to this attachment up yeah. here, and the fibers go all the way to the sternum. Yep. Oh, so you're okay. closing all the whole sternum in. That's it. Yep. From the top of this armpit outside chest. All right. So that same chest we were dipping with. This nebula stuff is different. I don't, I don't understand it. And you know, they, they give good deals. And so Jim's a vial. And keep that bottom that so much easier said than done. So this is what I learned about Pilates. I learned positioning, right? So you learn little stuff, like you learn rules about the body, right? You learn how close the, the pec actually is to your first abdomen. When you think of at, when our method in bodybuilding, you think of abs, you think of chest. You don't think of them as, as interrelated beings. You don't think of your serratus as helping with the presses, right? So well, what's the relation there, chest to... Think about it. The body. Every movement is less like... It's an outer step. Pilates teaches you that if you do chest, you're not necessarily doing chest. It might be taking primary damage or load, but it's a unison of compounding muscles working, right? There is no chest press only. You can't chest press without a tricep. Right. Right. You can't tricep press without totally. arms. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you start to think of your arm more as your arm and less as the singular body part. You're thinking in your brain like you tear down barriers of movement and you yeah. start moving like dancer more fluidly, more generously. But then again, like the point of bodybuilding is is isolation, working in independent muscle groups. So. Where is the happy medium there? It's like you're thinking of your arm as your arm, but when you're working your tricep, you're trying to work your damn tricep. So I think it's probably better defined as primary isolation, right? If you're working your tricep, it's a primary isolator. Ooh, Jay, give me a little more of that. Give me a little more of that. Ooh, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Come on. I just started writing um, warm-up sets back into my programming. Right. I'm sorry, I meant for my clients. I always just give them the numbers, but. Cool. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy! These machines, in my opinion, are made to build build IFBB pros. Yes. Big, mm. stiff type moving. Turn on the fixed movement. What's our reps? At least yeah. ten. Why do you want to work out? What is your goal? The most Ooh. important thing is that you have a vision. That you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that core, again, you're drifting around. You're never gonna end up anywhere. So think about it like this. And you know this, but you gotta think about it like this. The cells get to a point where they've done all they can do within their set of known knowledge. You've got to get the cells into an environment that they're not used to. You have to get them to a point where they don't know what else to do except adapt. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Back to the word you just said, I mean, the biggest factor in that is volume, right? Increase, sub, increase in volume over time? It's not rocket science. More push-ups, more pull-ups. Yeah. I think it's just when our lives get busy and we have more stressors, we don't give as much gasoline to this as we mm. used to. And I would argue, the Greeks would argue, that if a man puts himself into high athletics, yeah. it, it yields back to you. Yeah, I, yeah, and this yeah. is, I'm now getting back to this after. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so real quick on volume. So I've seen on a couple of your stories lately, you said you've just been in your groove training. We're going to do it today. In the flow. We're going to do it today. We're literally going to do it today. 
minimum effective volume, what, what's your take on it? Like, does it, when you're trying to build or build the physique, is that what matters? Or is it okay to just go over? Because I'm a huge proponent of total tonnage. But some people throw that out the window. They're like, oh no, time under tension, or the, you know? But I believe tonnage and volume is the, is. You have a pet? Oh, yeah. yeah. We have a dog. Do you know when the dog's tired on its walk? Do you know when your dog is say yeah. That's good enough. It's like there's a, a written code inside of us where it says, I'm tired now. And listening to that is an easy way to find volume. It's like saying, how flexible are you? Find when the Golgi tendon starts to say, that's enough. Like there are all types of things in us that if you listen to the feedback appropriately, you know the volume. So today's volume, so, you might do one more chest exercise and you'll be fried. Right. And that will be more exercise. Okay. It's, so you're saying that could be a, a, a better judgment of volume than what science says. Here's my opinion of what the science says. Sure. And this is from my own friends and relationships on there. If you go to these labs and you see these studies, the only people who perform these studies are 19 to 22 year old college white males. There is a population of women, Hispanics, they're like, we are not actually getting a wide range of population of studies done on many yeah. types of bodies, right? Like, yeah. what about Kenyans? What about their workloads? Absolutely. Think about it. Absolutely. You got someone who hasn't ever had regular training, mm. their response is going to be much higher. Much, much higher. Than yeah. Someone who's been training for four, five, ten plus years. Okay. So I would have grabbed a guy who's been running different types of programs for however long. Mm -hmm. So their studies, while good, they're wrong. Ton of variables. You know what I mean? And just fucking, well I don't set. know. Go for 315. Just see what happens, dude. <laughs> my boy Nathan, by the way. These, these are all my NIU people. Oh, yeah. Can I tell you, dude? I, I've, I've tried it all. Nothing makes me happier. Ah. I wish God gave me another thing. <laughs> but this is what he gave? Right. Well, with the whole lifestyle. You're right. Passion. You're so right about that. This is it. So the update on even at this age. Ooh, with some weight. Quads are arguably like my, my best body part. Hop right. on this after he just fits his last one. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm curious to see this uh, funky lunge machine you mentioned. Oh, the lunge machine? Yeah. Are we that, getting that after this? Well, we got to do a little curl anticipation. The lunge machine. Right, okay. right. There's so much equipment in here that he's got a, that corridor has equipment. And can I tell you, stuff swaps out all the time. So like some there we had another lady section here just got swapped out with that and so it's it's always something new. Dean, have you guys seen this? No. Let's try it. Let's hear it. So I'm not really sold on it, but they claim the resistance activates at different parts of the swing of the pendulum. You get more resistance in the middle of the movement. Uh -huh. Top. I. I usually load it when to the top of the bar. Oh. I usually leave the middle. Really. I really don't feel... Oh, there's three positions. There's yeah, three so positions. You're, you're supposed to feel at the top range here, mid range here, bottom range there. You know, so I just put the difference of loading. <laughs> That's right. Get as high as you can in those hips on the extension. Get it up, try to feel it all As high up. as you can. Warm up, right? <laughs> <laughs> traveling, <laughs> traveling circus. No! Woo. Yes, sir. Woo. Yes, full high. No hobby? Yes. Wow. Love that little shake. Come on. Oh, oh, that, there it is. I'm going back to have fun. Then yeah, you go and you work all night. You know the deal. Dude, I mean, this. You gotta have fun, bro. You gotta. And then you know what you gotta do? Your I'm energy is contagious. Uh, the only way we get this back, we're not young anymore, right? We're all in our marriages. We're all, we have to make sure. And I, I really got this one. We're reaching out to each other. We're doing stuff. Like, we have to keep what we got alive, or else, like, you just become a old American. Shit. It just happens. You know, like yeah, yeah. So it takes, yeah. I mean, you got a lot stirring in my mind. Well, I think mean, sometimes you don't get the itch back because you don't. You're not around it. You're not around it. And you forget. Simply put. Yes, sir. There it is. Cool. 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 I 
<laughs> Man, now was that just an awesome freaking fun workout? I love training with individuals like that because not only is their philosophy so intriguing, but their passion is so inviting. It's invigorating. And I think that's one of the biggest components of taking on any passion in life, especially weightlifting, because it has to be done day in and day out. There's nothing like having a massive motivator. Being around individuals like Javi and Ryan is infectious. It's awesome. And I encourage you to find that crew, that individual, the motivator in your life. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a gym atmosphere. It can be a poster on your wall. It can be an individual, a training partner. But find that motivator for you because being around these kind of people just lit me up. I know my workouts are going to be that much more effective and intense for the next few weeks simply because of the two hours spent with these folks. So hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to making much more for you. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the InstaShred channel and all we have to offer. Look forward to seeing you real soon.